Hi guys, it's me again. I'm going to show you guys the makeup that I did for our Pink's hot dog date on Catching Kelsey. I did this emerald kind of smoky eye. It's great to wear for a girl's night, for a date, going out by yourself, whatever. It's just fun and it's better if you wear it with something more simple because it is green and smoky. So, here we go. And I use a lot of the same products. I don't like go crazy on different face stuff for when I'm going out because it's unrealistic. Um, I use the, the NARS like eyeshadow base primer. So I start with that. Give that a nice little rub down. For smoky eyes, I usually uh, start with the eyes because the eye makeup could fall on your face makeup. So, you want to start with your eyes. And then, take my trusty old brush <laughs> and do the brow bone or right under the eyebrow. Also, my eyebrows are already done. So you're gonna have to wait till another video to learn how to do my brows. This is Naked Lunch again for brow bone. I use it every time, no matter what. Cause I don't know what other color to put up here. Okay, so this is what I used. It's this cool mermaid. Oh, it's called Tonight's the Night. Perfect. Um, it's this cool like green, blue mermaid color. And I'm sure you're supposed to put some type of base eyeshadow on, but I don't because I want this to pop more and I don't want anything to take away from it because I want my eyes to be as green as possible. I just put this on the whole base of my eye. And just start with a little and then work your way up because obviously it can get a little intense. And then once you get it over your whole eye, I like to focus on getting it like more in the middle right here because I'm gonna eventually go with like a black on the outsides. Okay, there's my green eye. Clean your brush off a little bit so you can use black. And then I just go and use just a matte black, whatever you have. Mine's in my Smashbox palette. Full exposure, it's what it's called. This black right here, it's kind of messy. I probably should have cleaned it, but I'm not perfect. Okay, get your black and then go on the crease of your eye carefully and bring it a little bit in. You don't want to do it just like half your eye because then it just looks choppy. I like to do it like an up and in movement like this. And you can always add so you can start just with a little bit on your brush so that you don't need to go full throttle right away. This is a lot of makeup for the daytime. <laughs> See what's happening? See that? And then, take a makeup wipe. Wipe off whatever fell from your eyelid. And then, start your face makeup. Smashbox again, photo finish. So your makeup goes on even. Just a little bit. Oh, also make sure you don't have eyeshadows all over your fingers and you just like smear it all over your face. I do it all the time. Oh, see? Look, I did it! <laughs> I told you I would. Should I just leave it? <laughs> okay, every. Okay, I think we're I think we're all good. Oh no wonder I'm like wiping it right in the before I clean it off. And then I take the Alaska Light 2 NARS. Velvet matte skin tint. Also, I think when I did this look, I was a little bit tanner, so my 
makeup might look a little bit different now, but same concept. And also careful when you're putting on your foundation around your eyes because like I said before, you'll smear it all over your face like an amateur such as myself. And then you're going to take some concealer, put that under, <laughs> put that under your eyes. Cover up your blemishes. I'm having like a little breakout on my face, but you know what? I put on. Take your cute little beauty blender and dab that concealer in. Oh, it's so scary. Look, it's frightening. Just kidding. Okay. Then I take this Urban Decay Naked Flushed brush has two sides I really only use this one and it's like a slanted type of brush but I like to use this Smashbox like contour palette and I don't <clears throat> really use these colors I use this actually for my eyes sometimes it's like a nice coppery I don't know orangey brown anyway I use the highlighter uh, I use this for under my eyes when I'm going out just to give me a little bit more pop And then I take my NARS Laguna Bronzer, do the same type of contour on like a three on your face, but I'll add a little bit more since I'm going out on the town, you know, to make it a little bit more sassy. Then I put on my NARS Torrid blush. Your eyes are already so dramatic and just using a nice subtle blush is good enough. Where's my blush brush? It's not here. I have to get my blush brush just now. I'll be right back. <laughs> Amateur YouTuber ever. It's me. As I was saying, so I'm gonna use my Torrid Nars blush. Peach, you don't want anything too shimmery to take away from your really beautiful mermaid eyes. So take a little bit of this with your nice blush brush from Nars. <clears throat> now my face makeup's done. Then I take my trusty old this brush from MAC <laughs> and I take my mermaid color again. Tonight's the night. I put it under my eyes. Also careful again with this because it could fall on your makeup. And I just go until almost all the way to the corner, but not quite. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. I have this awesome mystery eye pencil from MAC, and it's kind of like a greenish black, and and I like to put just a little bit under my eyes right here, but not in the, not really in the inside, but like right here. Right here. Just to give it a little bit more definition, just with your shadow, it's like a little bit darker, so just to kind of blend it in so it matches your black on in the corner. Okay, see? And then um, I like to curl my lashes. A lot of people are firm believers in fake eyelashes. It kind of is too heavy sometimes to wear a really smoky eye and lashes, unless you're going to like some event. If you wanna wear fake eyelashes with this look, by all means, because I love them, but just sometimes it's 
too much for my face. Kind of like, that's a lot. I use this MAC eyelash curler, by the way. And then I use Baby Doll Lysol Black Mascara, just regular, not waterproof. <laughs> you can get some on your face too if you want. Are they mowing the lawn? Jeez Louise, so loud. Put some on your bottom lashes just to make it more dramatic. Also, I didn't put fake eyelashes on with this look because I didn't have time. But it actually turned out better than I thought. Oh, lip gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss and I probably should broaden my horizons but I don't really that often. It's called Boy Bait and it's from MAC and it's a cream sheen glass lip gloss. It's like the perfect nude and pink mixture. Love it with a smoky eye because it doesn't take away from the smoky eye and it's just subtle and pretty. Very it's a nice color, right? But there you have it. It's a smoky eye. And it's it on my face. <laughs> you gonna keep that makeup on? I don't know! Should I? It's kind of intense for today.